Hello, family. Welcome to Business Talk That Matter with Eminent Augusta. So today, let's talk about creating your customer avatar. Can I call it your customer persona? <laughs> All right. So you must discover the problem of your customers in order for you to creatively help solve their problem. At this level, you already know that as a member of this community that the only way you can make money is by solving people's problem. And that's why when you discover the problem of your customers through your marketing research and intel, you can create what I would call your customer avatar. So for you to create your customer avatar of your dream buyer, you need to ask yourself, what are the hopes, the dreams, and the desires of your customer? What does a day look like in the life of your customer? What is their preferred form of communication? And where do they go to hang out and congregate? You see, your ability to answer these questions will give you a clearer picture of who your ideal customer is. Knowing your dream buyer changes everything for you in business. It changes your product. It changes your service offering. It changes your marketing strategy and even your value proposition, your pricing, the tone of your copy, the message you're sending out, what channel for you to advertise on. And more importantly, no one can afford to address everybody's problem, especially in today's market. So your ability to answer all these questions help you to be unique and specific when solving their problem and communicating, reaching out to them. Yeah, the media we use to reach our customers can be highly, in fact, right now it's highly fragmented and competitive. So if your business is going to compete with the big guys, you must have to zero in on your dream buyer, like narrow down on them immediately. A lot of business owners simply say, no, I am targeting whoever is interested in my service. Well, that may work for you, but not for long. Some say that they are targeting business owners, entrepreneurs, property investors, ETC. Well, that's a good start. But these targets are much too generic. They are too general to go after. And that's why it's very important for you to be specific because specificity is key. And that's why defining your customer avatar, defining your dream buyer might seem like you are excluding other audience who might buy from you. Well, keep in mind that you targeting a specific dream buyer doesn't mean you have to exclude anyone who doesn't fit into that category. No, the purpose of going after your dream buyer is so that you can focus your message and marketing budget on the customers who are most likely to buy your products as well as those prospective customers who would be your dream buyer. You need to note that focusing on your dream buyer brings clarity to your marketing message and your copy becomes sharp and hard like a tip of the spread that can cut down the noise in your marketplace, which ultimately leads to a more profitable business. While you might be thinking that creating a, um, a dream buyer persona isn't the sexiest or best thing for you right now, let me tell you this. Advertising channels may change. Landing page builder may change. Your software you use may change. The algorithm and tactics may change. But the fundamental of learning, learning what people want, understanding exactly where you can help them, and then selling to the right people in the most persuasive way, a timeless strategy that can never fit. They have worked 100 years ago and will keep working in the next 1,000 years to come. This is about getting to know the right people, your dream buyer, who benefits the most and pay you the most for your products and service. So, always ask the essential question in the process of defining your ideal client. What are their hopes? What are their dreams? What are their desires? What does a day look like in their life? What is their preferred form of language and communication? Where do they hang out? Where do they congregate? Where do they get their information from? What is their biggest frustration and challenges that keep them up at night? 
your ability to answer this question can give you a perfect idea of who your dream buyer avatar is. So ladies and gentlemen, go and create your dream buyer avatar or persona, whichever one you want to call it, and send out your marketing message specifically to them. Well, if you like me to hold you by the hand and guide you on how to narrow down everything I just said in this video, on this podcast, to narrowing it down to your business, to the need of your business, and directing and focusing on your, on your customer avatar, do well to click on the des description button below. You see a link to my website. You can book a consultation or just go to the website and book a consultation section so that we can guide you better and do well to follow us on this channel to learn more. Like this video if you gain value from it and don't forget to share with your friends in all social media. You can post it on your WhatsApp status. And just the way this is a blessing to you, let's, you can use this to bless others. See you in our next podcast.